Hey guys, Seki Pictures here, and welcome back to more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we finished off Rumble Down Under and saw the first cutscene of uh, Flight of Fancy. That There we go, that's what it's called. So, let's go. We'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Alright, so where is Dimitri? Oh, look, there he is. Dimitri? Funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Maybe I should threaten violence, use local argument, or threaten to expose him. Hmm. Let's see. I think the right one is use a lo logical argument. We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk, so spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is big. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I'll need to calm him down a little. And then, this one is compliment him, make him feel good. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I can address him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk of flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro. This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time. This guy is a real nut job. Not sure what to, what to owe him. Not sure I want to owe him. Mm, agree to the favor is the actual answer. Okay, Dimitri. Hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck. To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Huh? Stand cool. Here comes big cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. 
<laughs> now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hiding. <laughs> like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> Or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. <laughs> yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions. This will be a fair competition. Same as last year and the year before. I've got the scars to prove it. I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles. door to the hotel. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. What's outside? Things will get dangerous. Hi, person. I'm gonna stomp you in the ground. Alright, so... Let's go outside. We need to oh, not get caught. We need to go up on the hill. All the way to the top. All the way to the tippy tippy top. <clears throat> oh, and also, watch out for a wolf around here. Because the wolf will go and eat you, pretty much. And watch out for the spotlights. They go and shoot you. The blimps, at least. I won't be able to get inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. All right. <laughs> so we are just doing regular sly stuff right now, just scaling the castle. Alright. And here you actually do need to pay attention that the Baron does not see you. There we go. Go. All right, and here we go. Sly, hey Sly, Sly, are you up there? Nope, sorry, just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal, I don't see any switch. But. But there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on, I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Alright, so now we need to do art decryption with Bentley. Hooray! But, um, before I go in, the hover pack that I bought, well, I think it was last episode or the episode before that. There we go. It's one, two, three, and you... 
That's what it is. It's two extra jumps. That's what the hover pack is. And you can and you can glide for a short distance after each jump too. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. All right. And I believe we need to look through all of them. There we go. Alright, here. 5 1 0. There we go. Haha! Got it! Job complete, Bentley! All right, so that's pretty much the reason why I didn't want to do the first mission in the last episode. Because, yeah, we're already 13 minutes in. And I need the paraglot for this episode, uh, for this, um... We need it. Bleh. Okay. The paraglide and hover pack will be used within this world. There we go. Looks like hard partying Team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! So yeah, we get to row a boat. Kinda not as exciting as you would think it would be. So yeah, that's pretty much it, what Bentley just said. X button to 
row forward, square button to row backward, you'll eventually need to use that. But for the most part, you kind of don't. Because you can spin the boat pretty quickly. <clears throat> and if you hit these bombs, you lose a part of your boat. Well, you lose health on your boat. Alright. Doing good so far. Just keep mashing the X button and you'll pretty much get through. Come on, Murray, you can do it! Alright. And over here, you do not want to be near the bomb. So, yeah. Just keep keep it angled toward the water flowing down, and you're pretty much good. Alright. There we go, there's the end. Of the rowing, at least. This is it. For now. Make your way to the hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and guard the boat. Alright. I don't like these narrow platforms. And they move so much, jeez. That... There we go. Nice work. You're almost there. Be careful not to wake these guys up. They're a paranoid group, and I've probably set up some crude burglar alarms. So yeah, these guys do have a crude burglar alarm. See the house of cards? If you mess with that, you're toast. They also have a bunch of bottles near here. If you step on one of the bottles, you're done. You run into this, you're done. There we go. Alright. Here we go. And there we go. Yay! Go. <clears throat> Sorry, pal. The valve gates changed position. We need to escape through another tunnel. But fear not. The Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. All right. So yeah, we got some more rowing here. The reason this is actually in the game, it actually does help a little bit later, and you need it for the operation. Oops. That was bad. Oh no! 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 Bomb. Get away from me, bomb. Good bomb. Alright. No! Okay, good. Alright. 
So, yeah, row, row, row your boat gently down the sewer line. Merrily, 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 life is but a smile. Actually, I should have said merrily, 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 merrily. As in the Murray. <laughs> oh, the boat is sinking! Never seen it do that before. Uh, it's sinking again. I'm stuck. There we go. There we go. Home free. Yay. Land ho! And he can't climb ladders, so he's stuck down in the sewers. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. Alright, so we can go two different ways. We can go over the bridge there, or we can actually push this button. Which lowers this drawbridge. And go over the drawbridge. Yay! Dang it, I wanted that. I wanted to uppercut that guy so I could grab him in the air. Dang it. Person. Yeah, gold medal, nice. Hi. Oh, I can slam him too, nice. Okay, where do I need to go? Over here. Yay! <clears throat> Sorry, I was messing around for a little bit there, but oh well. It's all for getting the paraglider. That's Belgium's prize plane strung up from the ceiling. It's held in place by these anchors. Destroy them and the plane should come crashing down. Seems like these lasers might roast my hulking bow. True. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check. You'll need to use your charged ball attack to take out the anchors. Go into ball form and quickly tap the square button to build up force. Then strike. Halfway there. Wow! Oh, jeez. Alright, so... Yeah, just press the square button to build up momentum, and there you go. Boom! After I vandalize everything else. Oh, I got enough for the paraglider, never mind. There we go. Job complete, Murray. So, that is it for this episode. We still have a Murray mission to go, which is conveniently right next to us. So that's the order that you want to do it if you're doing more than just the the jobs, just the episodes I'm doing. Ow. Alright. 
Oh, I just killed myself. Whoops. I didn't see what happened because my computer paused just a sec. Alright, so... This has been Psychic Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time for more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves.